Hi guys, morning. It's Thursday, the 24th of June, and we've built all our 26 ISOs with our 22 desktops, and we're gonna beta test them. And this is, well, also a beta test. We start working on an SSD with this ISO. We've installed Arknix XL, which means the XL version, like in clothing, XL, XS, L, and stuff like that. It has everything we need. It's the flagship. Does not contain Openbox on i3 anymore, but if you want, during Calamaris, you can install Openbox i3. But also Qtile, awesome. We have the possibility to have a mix of, um, well, desktops and tiling window manager, for example. So the topic of the video is that none, and I mean really none, of the operating systems out there, including Windows and Mac, are great from the startup. You always want to change something. You always want to change icons, themes, a terminal, less apps, more apps, different apps. So choices, that's what makes humans and what makes distros. Choosing for systemd or init, etc. It goes on and on. It's always about choices. Now, the thing is, I have also made my choices already in this one, but it's still not good enough. I mean, where is my Spotify? Where is Dropbox? Where is NSYNC? There are applications in here that I will not put on the ISO because I don't want to push you buying an account for Spotify or anything like that. I mean, it's freedom all around, that's Linux. But how do you proceed after a clean installation? You make a script, you run scripts, so you don't, you're not bothered with figuring out everything again or, or typing everything again because we're we're doing every month or maybe every week we do a clean install and then we get our stuff in okay getting stuff in where do you keep these things well online there is github there is gitlab there is git bucket there is so many git resources and mine is on github.com slash eric dubois and that's it many 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 how uh, many 105 repositories it's all kind of a backup but the most one because these these are mostly forgotten for all time's sake right but some of them are really accurate or, or um, up to date like this one and that's the one i'm gonna run i'm gonna run arclix nemesis so do have a look these are the things that i install after any latest version of Arclinux, I will do this. I will run these scripts. So I have my Spotify, I have my Dropbox. Otherwise, it will be this. So you go, Pacman minus S in sync, right? And then you install it manually and you keep on typing, keep on typing until you got everything. Doesn't make sense, right? So that's why we have scripts, a simple file that's executable and you run it and you got it. Now, this is one way of doing it. I mean, no, this, let me rephrase that. I have something else which I use, which you can use. There is a company called, let's make another tab. There is a company called Bitly, right? And in Bitly, you can log in and so on, sign. The thing is, you get a short URL. And with this short URL, you can get in um, a targz or a file that you use to install after a clean installation. And that's basically what I've done. I've, and you can use our URL, our files as well, again, to learn, because that's one of our goals is teach. So learn how to use Linux. Arco get started and with version number eight. So it depends if I need to update anything, if, if Dropbox um, forgot the link or anything like that, I have to make number nine, 10 and so on. So now we are at bit.ly, Arco get started eight. It points to a zip file or targz file on my Dropbox. So we are moving. This is the line that I've put behind bit.ly line there. And you just go ahead and download this thing direct download. You don't need to save it on your own Dropbox. There's no need to have an account on Dropbox. But here, that's it. So this is my 
thing I start with. Every single installation I start with this. I'm going to extract it here. I'm going to throw that in the dustbin, in the trash bin here. Get started. And these are things we use as core developers, as beta testers also, maybe. Anyway, they know the existence of it. <coughs> so yes, be my guest and use it. And here is something I use, minimal start here, Eric. So right mouse click, open a terminal. And all I need to do is run it. Well, let's do an LL. So you see everything that's green has an executable, an X. If for some reason your scripts are not executable, you do a schmot, schmot plus X. And we made everything simple in life. Right mouse click, make executable, the same thing. It will make an executable from the file. So you can run it and that's, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to run this. So dot here, this directory, you will start minimal, minimal start here, Eric. And while this is running, we'll open it up and I'll probably get to the thing we all are experiencing, experiencing, am I? Now, that's uh, the sublime text issue in the sense that the developer of the, the maintainer of the AOR package on the Arch user repository changed the package basically and now it's with a serial key so if you buy it if you have bought it you got a serial key and can put it in there now we have scripts like i said bin stay rolling 2021 from 5 to 7 so version iso 5 to 7 and then i can't see it of course <laughs> let's run it and then read it afterwards right so what's in here is saying get rid of sublime text def and replace it with sublime text 4 so i can actually read my own script voila so the only thing it does is basically that let's have a look what else so alacrity and arclinix alacrity but they were already on the system so it just skipped um, I've closed it already or not? Yeah, I've closed it already. So it's just um, this needed thing is the most important thing. If Alacrity is already installed, we'll just skip it and that saves time, download and all that. So here is going to install this and here is going to remove it. Okay, simple. All right, let's go for it. So minimal start here, Eric. Let's have a look as well. Let's go like this. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Oh, that was it. So minimal start here, Eric, double click, open sublime text and we can have a look what's happening. So we can make something similar, right? That's the point. Start making scripts. I already made a video about how to start with bash something like that, I don't know, over 2000 is the number. Um, so have a look, it's not that difficult. It sounds magic, it's not. It's just commands, commands written down in a text file and then say that this file, minimal start Eric, should be executable. You've seen me do it, schmot X or right mouse click, done. And then this is an update of the system, but it was already up to date. This is an update from everything from AOR included but we don't have anything from AOR because everything I use is uh, built, pre-built, packaged on the repo. So it's a pseudo Pacman minus S story all around for me. But if you install more stuff from AOR, it will do that one. It's gonna copy paste the data. So there is a file, so this is finished. So maybe we can move over here. So we're gonna copy this folder over to my own folder and see at all that lots I think I just switched it <laughs> this one with this one so these are all the folders I use to I think this is the right order to build and maintain article so these folders are there not there but they will be there if I start downloading stuff so 
it's a copy paste basically so copy this to there so i'll have on eric here i will have Control h makes it simpler i'll have a data folder here these things are in here and if i want to have articling stuff they will be in here as well but at this point in time this is still a very personal system nothing related to articling is yet here there is lc but that's personal and articling nemesis that's the thing that i have right github.com eric dubois Active nemesis this ran already here it is get me git clone get me eric dubois Arclix Nemesis, that's the code, git clone, get me from internet. Then I go inside the folder, I go in here, I'm in here. And then I run this one, 100, 200, not so doing this one, so hashtag means don't do it, don't do this, don't do that. And then we jump over to the personal stuff. So that's personalization, like you have a Bluetooth connection, set up or anything like that so i have something specific here something about bluetooth somewhere let maybe see at the code here there it is 955 install settings auto connect to bluetooth headset and once you've figured it out once you've read arch wiki then you go and and say okay these fixes used to be in the, in the past i've left them in but this is the last fix the only fix i now do and that's it. Found it on the internet. Put it in a script. Forgot about it. That's what you should do. Forget about them, the difficult stuff. Once you've figured it out, put it in something in, in the script and run it later on. So settings are in here. Alacrity settings, things I like. Alacrity standard Alacrity is maybe not to your liking, right? Like me, I have my own Alacrity setting and not the Arclinix settings. I have auto start things. I want to auto start Discord, InSync, Telegram, Variety by default. So I copy paste this over to Eric, Control H, Config, auto start. I don't have to think about these things anymore. I run a script and it moves everything to the right place. I reboot and everything starts. Discord wants his password, InSync wants his password and so on. So all these elements, this is what I so love about Linux, right? You can theme and tweak it. Rice it is another name that the people use. Basically, you could call this auto rising. Auto because it's automatically, but it's hard work. It's, it's years of work thinking, okay, I want to have this, I want to have that, and I want to change this setting, that setting. My variety comfy is, is different than yours on Arc Linux. Why? I want to have control find wall haven, I think, I think it's called wall haven. Um, find, there it is. I download from wall haven, well, I don't know, hundreds of wallpapers with the tag abstract. Hundreds of wallpapers with the top, from the top list of wall haven. So I get my wallpapers in automatically. Sometimes people ask, Eric, where do you find these wallpapers? I don't. Wallhaven supplies me, well, Variety supplies me the wallpapers from Wallhaven. No trouble, no effort, effortless wallpaper. So things like that. So you, there's more, uh, but you can read the code and see what settings I like and I prefer. Some of the settings I've, uh, I ran, other ones I skip. So that's timing, right? That's, we used to have an issue, no more issue. Then a hashtag in front of it, done. PTRVS support setup, if I wanna try it out, I can have a look, so okay. These are the things I need now. It's still a work in progress, not sure if this is the real thing, the real, well, everything changes. These scripts are always in, in, in yeah. Over time, they will change. At this point in time, this is what I like to set up. All right. Oh yeah, one thing more. Do have a look at the AOR folder. I think this is done. 
So all these scripts ran. And here's your auto enable Bluetooth thing, fix three. And you read. I've installed VirtualBox, which means reboot, right? There is no VirtualBox on the ISO, but I always do VirtualBox. I am always in VirtualBox. So I need to install it after a clean install. That's why it's there. So last thing, AOR, Arch User Repository, my printer, my um, keyboard and other stuff for a Belgium EID thing. Uh, so for the password to go get into the official websites from the government and stuff like that, some other packages. But I want to point out it's a, there's a VMware workstation here. There's also the install virtual box for Linux, Linux LTS or the Linux DKMS. That's interesting. And to the guys who want to experiment, I sent them to this script, install QMU with virtual manager. And that's basically it, right? And other things you just install, you forget. But there are nice things in here. People say, Eric, why, why do you send us here? Well, one of the things I hate is all these comments. VirtualBox always gives these, these blue lines, these messages. That's it. VBox manage set extract data global group, suppress messages. All, no messages from VirtualBox. That's why scripts are interesting. Things that frustrate us, well, we should get rid of it. And one of these things, well, ideas is to put them in scripts so you can forget about it. You run the scripts and then done. All right. So this is what I do after clean installation. Spotify is installed. In sync is there. Dropbox is not there, but I could have installed it. It's just on one computer these days. You have access on three computers, I think it is, in Dropbox. But I've bought myself a InSync account, well, a Google Drive account and an InSync uh, license. So I'm always good for our passion or hobby, Arconex. Reuse our scripts, make them your own. Think about the tip of bit.ly, so you have your, your proper URL, your own personal URL, you type in bit.ly and then your name or something, eh? anything. And if the URL is free, it's yours. And then um, voila, after clean installation, you go download your zip or targz and extract it, run it, forget about it, come back, reboot, done. That's my suggestion. Cheers.